Hello everyone, it is Mrs Red here from Mrs Red's Art Room and today we're going to be having a look at what is inside the September 18 Red's Art Cart. As always, I love to give you a little example of what is inside. Here we have the Yupo paper. So, I wonder what this one's going to be all about. Let's go have a look. Alright, so here is what is inside the September 18 Red's Art Cart. It's exploring alcoholic inks and with the Yupo paper. So very briefly, let's just quickly have a look at what's inside. We've got the an A5 size Yupo paper. You're getting three alcoholic inks, um, a nice cheap brush, the brand new plastic nib Pigma Micron. That was a little bit of a mouthful and a Liquitex paint marker. So we're going to explore what um, these products can do, but I just need to also mention that over the next couple of months, we are going to have a lot of background noise going on because we're actually doing a big renovation of our house. So uh, there will be um, a bit of banging, crashing going on, um, probably a few voices as well, but that is something that is out of my control, as I'm sure you know if you have also done a renovation at home. Okay, let's get into uh, how these products work. All right, let's start with these three products first because there's not too much explanation needed here. Firstly, this paintbrush, yes, I did mention it's cheap. I think it's around about $2 to buy. It is just a cheap bristled brush. The bristles will fall out as you're using it, but the reason why I've included it is because you actually just need a brush to push a little bit of the liquid around the paper and nothing else. It doesn't have to um, have any other qualities to it. Uh, this, however, is wonderful. Um, if you know me, you know that I love the Pigma Micron pens. This one is quite new to the market, probably in the last six months that it has come out. And it's called a PN, which is short for plastic nib. So it is exactly the same as all the other Pigma Micron markers. It is archival um, ink, meaning that it's not going to fade or it's not going to go like a sepia color on you. Um, it is uh, waterproof as well, so you're never going to have a bleeding issue with it. The only, um, the great thing about it is that it will take some pressure this time. So with the original Pig Pigma pens, the nibs which come in various weights uh, can be easily broken if you put down a little bit of pressure. So these will take a little bit of pressure. I'm not going to test it out and try and be really, really hard with it. Um, and it is about a 0.3 nib on it. So nice and fine, but not too fine. Beautiful pens. And they actually are a little bit cheaper than the uh, the nib, the, the steel nib pens as well. Uh, Liquitex paint marker. These again come in various different sizes. Everyone's getting different colors in these. They're not necessarily getting the one that I have done my demonstrations with. Uh, this is the fine nib one. So it is a chisel nib. Um, if you can see that there. And um, again, great pen to use because they are waterproof. They can go over other mediums as well. And you should have a lot of fun with them. They've got the ball in them, so you need to shake them a little bit like the Posca pens. All right, we're going to now get on with uh, the more exciting stuff being uh, alcohol inks and uh, Yupo paper. All right, I've added a couple of extra things to um, the table now. So one being the icicle, which you wouldn't have noticed before, and secondly being the original artwork that everyone has received a copy of in their art cart for this month. Now, something else I must mention, we've got a really overcast day today, so nothing's working for me today outside. I've got um, workers out there working, and I've also got a very overcast day. It has been raining, and it just means that the lighting that I can um, provide here is is not as true as it should be so in the example artwork it's actually quite a bright orange um, and it kind of looks more I don't know like a yellowy yellowy brown color happening there and the feather looks quite dark too which it's not actually that dark but if I brighten it up it just changes the colors again and it's yeah we just have to leave it as it is so why have we got the icicle? Because it, it's you can't really mix water with these inks. It has to be 
um, the rubbing alcohol. So there's two ones you can buy. You can buy the ice coal, um, especially if you're in Australia, you can get these from the chemist or the supermarket and they're handy because they come in a little spray bottle now, which they didn't come in before. Um, there is another one as well that uh, nurses and doctors and other people that are in the medical industry can buy as well. I can't remember the name of it, but it is it is pretty much the same thing. It's an antiseptic um, and it is the, the, the difference between this and say Dettol, Dettol has that that brown stainy color to it this is clear so you definitely want to go with the ice coal um, or the medical anesthetic one which I can't remember the name of now a really important thing about the UPO paper and I hope that you do watch this video before you start using it is that you actually shouldn't touch the paper so there is a protective layer to start with but then now I've used the sheets out of these ones so there's only a couple of sheets left but this paper here you get your fingerprints on it and it will show up as soon as you put the alcohol inks onto it so um, the way that I was taking the pages from here was using a tissue or you could use a bit of paper towel and and just grab it within and tear it off it will tear off really nicely um, but you just want to try and avoid putting your fingers on it you can do once the artwork's finished um, but it's it's a little bit like photographic film um, the oils in our skin is just going to transfer onto the paper so it's a really important thing to remember that Now, why the icicle? Well, because I actually started doing my examples without it. I was using water and water was not working very well. I have examples here, which I'll bring in. Uh, we might start with the ones that are on the, actually, this is a good one. So if I put them there. I, if I move it around so that the light catches, you can see a lot of sticky areas like this. And that, because it has been moved around with water, has ac will actually flake off. So I can actually rub that and I'll get it on my fingers and it will actually just break off. It will flake. It will flake off. So it's not recommended that you actually use water to rub um, the alcohol inks around. Uh, now, the video that supports this YouTube video is of the feather being done and the feather has been done with the ice coal ink um, I think I've sprayed it on and as you can see if I shine it like that you're not seeing any of that flakiness that you're getting from the water and that was a lesson that I had to learn myself um, but I am unable to send this through the post anyway plus it just would have weighed too much so um, grab yourself a bottle of that um, going back to this example that is used the this parchment color posca pen, oh sorry posca pen, uh, the parchment color liquitex pen has been used as the spine of just testing that feather and then using the plastic nib pigma micron over the top of that so some other examples here this is a good one this was me playing around now I've used a few different colors ink as well so I haven't stuck to the three that everyone's receiving in their cart I had five inks in total to be able to play with um, again just experimentation of putting down the ink first followed by the Posca pen Oh, I keep calling it a Posca pen. My art rep is going to not be very happy with me uh, it is the Liquitex paint marker uh, and putting that down and then putting a bit of the uh, pigma micron down and working it out so definitely experiment as well work out what um, works nicer for you we've got that one there which came out quite nicely that has got no water or icicle added at all I have used just the inks now I have a pussycat who wants to get out of the door she's going to start complaining at me I'll just uh, let her out. Uh, okay, so Pussycat's outside. Now she'll probably want to come in. So I'm really fighting with everyone today, aren't I? Uh, this one here, again, was done with the um, Isocol. And it, when it comes to drying, they need about a good 24 hours 
to really, really dry. They are touch dry within, say, an hour. Um, but because you are laying it down onto a paper, which is, you, it's, it's quite hard to tear, Upo paper. Um, sorry, I don't know what the ingredients is in the paper, but it is, it is very similar to a photographic film paper. Um, and with these, so I, have, I haven't videoed all my test examples. However, the ones that I have videoed was this one here, which comes up kind of very dark in this video. It's not as dark as that. Uh, so that one has been videoed and of course the the one that I used for the feather and I've used the oh, I don't know I don't know if I've used the same colors in both of those but what I'm going to do this is the artwork it will be shown in a video that supports this video and after that artwork has been finished I will just add this one to it because this was filmed as well and you'll just see different ways I've used the um, the alcohol because I have taken the lid off and stuck that paintbrush into there as well and used it that way. Lots of fun. Um, also another thing to be careful of is the fumes. Oh that doesn't want to do up anymore. Um, the fumes of these inks, if you're, if you don't like the smell of say oil paints and the turpentine that um, oil paints uses, then you need to at least be in a well ventilated area. You don't want to be stuck in a room with the windows closed like I am today. Um, my reason is because I need to block out the outside noise, but there is fumes that will come from these inks and also the isocol. So make sure you're in a well ventilated space and that you leave these dry flat. If they get picked up, they're a little bit like watercolor, they will dribble. Maybe the, um, the effect you're going for. So please have a look at the next video, which shows the feather being done and this one as well. It gets uploaded as soon as this video is up. Um, you, the art carters get, I think there's 10 pages of Yupo paper in here. Yes, 10, um, and play around with them. These come in different sizes. I've only got this size in the shop at the moment, but if you want to get other size of the pads, um, I can definitely get them in for you. Have fun playing with this, and um, I'd love to see your examples on social media, on the Instagram uh, page, or, or hashtag me, and on the Facebook page. And until next month, go and enjoy your inks. Bye.